think about commitment month and when we're up to. So um, this is uh, week three uh, of five in our commitment month and uh, we've committed just to giving you an update each week about how we're tracking. Um, so today's update is of uh, Friday lunchtime. Uh, this is where uh, we've come to. Uh, so we've had three commitment responses so far and we've had uh, $1,500 a month pledged towards our $19,000 monthly goal. Uh, we've had no commitments to trim the wall mural or to the seating. We've had 1,200 uh, in one-off gifts committed to the lighting of uh, 10,000 that we're seeking to raise. Uh, we've had 100 committed to uh, the $20,000 goal for our roof. And uh, we've had three responses for practical service. So thanks to those uh, who have given so far. And I look forward to uh, updating you more next week as we progress. Um, and I'll hand over to SJ. Thanks, SJ. Hi, everyone. Um, firstly, it's so great being back in church. Um, I'm really looking forward to coming back now. Um, and being able to see you all here instead of you just being able to see me here. So um, Mike's asked me to just provide a bit of an update about um, things that firstly I celebrate from our church over the last year um, and secondly things that uh, excite me about where we're going in 2022. So I'll just stop and take a breath because this is actually really nerve-wracking. How do you do this, Sue? Um, so Firstly, I'm really thankful um, and I really celebrate the way we've been able to do church differently over the last 12 months, um, but keep the focus on, on, the, on Christ and on the Word and on being able to grow in our spiritual health. Um, and, and also I've really enjoyed watching what we've been able to do under persecution. So this is not by any means religious persecution, but it's technological persecution, it's social persecution. You know, what we've had to do, which was not planned, we've had to innovate and we've had to do things differently and we've really met that challenge in a beautiful way, thanks largely to Tim and the AV team and to Mike preaching differently and, and moving with what we as a church needed. So I've really loved that. Um, also, uh, it's been just wonderful to see our church grow um, we've, we've had people saved and, and added to our number um, and also the way grow groups are continuing to meet and to grow in their spiritual faith and to, to commune with each other and to get fellowship even though we're not able to sort of socially sit in the same room. Um, and the way that's carried on when we were able to meet briefly back in church um, over the end of last year and beginning of this year. So I think... Uh, we've been we've been doing wonderful things and keeping the focus on revival um, and being able to just share that with each other in ways that we never thought we'd have to, but we are, and we've continued to do that. So on that note, um, things that excite me about our plan for 2022. Um, so I just love the fact that we've been able to commit to investing to another student minister, and I'm so excited about seeing the the new. Um, enthusiasm and, and the new flavour that Russ Denton's going to bring to us next year when he starts. Um, I also love the fact that we're starting to plan for a car park refurbishment because I don't know if you all have seen the car park but it is a hole that needs a big refurb um, and we need a lot of money for that. So for us to be able to start planning for that really indicates that we're growing and that we're planning for things that are big and um, and, it, and just for us to, like Mike was saying about um, people growing in their spiritual growth um, and being more involved in the church and being able to be more financially accountable, I suppose, to uh, the church, it means that we're able to do that because we're growing as a church and of course, if we're growing, that means we're healthy and that's a wonderful thing. Um, also, it means that as a church, we're behind the vision for revival um, and we're all investing in it. And I think that's fantastic because every day we pray for revival and every Sunday when we have our revival prayer meetings, we're just hungry for it. Um, and so to be able to do that and to indicate by the things that we've got planned, um, 
I think that's an excellent thing. So um, why don't you join me in prayer and we'll finish off a little talk about Commitment Month. Dear Heavenly Father, firstly, we thank you so much for the growth that we've been able to see so far in Hornsby Heights, um, in our St Luke's Church. We thank you for the, the new enthusiasm and the new energy that you've brought into our church as people are seeing Christ's life-giving salvation for the first time in their own lives. Uh, we thank you, Lord, that we've been able to bring those people into our church and to welcome them um, and to help them on their path to spiritual maturity. Um, we pray, Lord, for the continued growth of each church member um, as we pray and study your word, and we pray that you would instill in us greater and greater passion for the vision for revival in Hornsby Heights, that you would um, make that so real to us and to, to hunger for seeing salvations here in our you know, stomping ground, Hornsby Heights, and that you would also uh, instill in us a vision for greater um, world mission and to help us to fund that with our church as well. We pray, Lord, for um, continued revelation for each individual person here about their own uh, financial investment and their spiritual maturity and how that can be sustainable um, in terms of their giving of their money and their time. And we ask, Lord, for all of these things in your dear son Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, SJ.